then we are done. Back is feeling nice and juicy. Did a good old back session, kid. I was gonna do cardio, but you know me, since the crash, I don't want to have my tint advisor on late at night. It sketches me out, mate, and I didn't bring a clear one with me. Rookie mistake, so. Thought I'd leave earlier while it's still a bit light. You're in 60 frames per second as well, so that means like darker settings are not gonna be as bright because it's at 60 frames per second, so it means it has to have the shutter speed higher. That will lessen if you want better night footage make sure you're on 30 frames per second at 150th and that'll give you the most light into the camera because it's got less frames moving if you get what i mean it's hard to explain basically higher the number darker the image is going to be because it's got more light coming uh it's moving the shutter's moving faster whereas if it's at 30 the shutter's moving slower more light coming in bosh job done so i should really be in 30 for this nighttime bit but i wanted to be in 60 for the other bit because it just it's more responsive with your head movements It'll be all right. It'll be all right. All right. Forget about it, Kurt. <laughs> Remember that with Fast and Furious. Forget about it, Kurt. <laughs> I actually just went and met one of you guys at the gym. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you lot watching the videos. Appreciate it. He was on about the group rides, and obviously we stopped him because obviously it's winter now and we can't really control the weather. But I might do an occasional local couple little blips as it's coming into the winter season. So if it's a sunny weekend, keep an eye on my Instagram, join the group ride channel. And then I always just put stuff in there anyway. And then you might be able to get some uh, group rides going. And um, come out for a little blip. It'll be like more last minute ones. Nothing crazy far, but... Be a good time either way. Might do one this weekend, who knows? Keep you on your toes. Keep a lookout. Middle lane's always so dusty. After Marcus's bloody tire's got a thing in it from like these sorts of bits, I don't want to go on it either. Perfect thing about a bike, doesn't matter what hour you go out, rush hour or not, don't matter. Because you can just splice through, mate. So much more convenient knowing that I had to go shopping and then I had to go to gym and it was going to be around this peak time. Jump on the bike, mate, and you're straight there. All weather riders, I ain't put my bike away for the winter. We're out here, people got to make content. If it's dry, I'm out. Hey, I need to get onto an earplug company to give me an affiliate link for something because I want to promote them to you guys, but I'm not doing it for free. <laughs> like, you should. Get some earplugs, because it is a game changer. When you get consistent at wearing them, you'll really notice the difference when you don't wear them, and you're like, wow, what was I even doing? Because it's literally just like, as if you were to like, cup your ear, and get the sound like round your hand, <coughs> and cup that sound round your ear. It's basically what you're doing, you're just funneling this high-pitched air noise straight into your eardrums. So bad for you. Lose your hearing real quick. Real quick. Pizza is the pizza, but you and me need to not follow too closely to the car in front. I made that mistake the other day, and there was a bloody he suddenly swerved out of the way, and there was a plant pot in the way. I was like, damn, nearly got taken out by a plant, nearly got rid of. <laughs> Get bird. Get bird. Oh, I smell that. That smells well good. There's a warehouse that does something to do with like curry or something and it smells so good when you go through that industrial estate. I love that smell. Hello dog. Hello doggy. Hello doggy. Clutchless shift in the new boots. Can I still do it? Because I've been messing up my shift so bad recently. Yay. I need to work on my shifts, man. I'm just really not doing it right at the minute with these boots. It's just so hard to flex your foot compared to what I used to have. It's like such minimal movement in your ankle still. But it's so hard to get that crisp shift on that shifter. That's when a quick shifter would come in handy. Someone's been leaking something on the floor, you can see it. Look, it's just a line of like fuel or something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That fuel's still there. Look at it. 
just a strip of it. Whose car is that? That's fresh. That'll take you out. If you're like peak lean on one of those, that'll slip your little rear end out. Not fun. I know it's probably been me impatient, but sitting at 45 on a 60 is just taking the piss, can't lie. Get out of the way. No need for it. If you can't do the speed limit, get off the road. Obviously, I always do the speed limit. Obviously. Look at listen to the rumble. <laughs> I think there's a carburetor thing. It's like listen. <laughs> it goes so funny. You hear that buzzing? It's this little bolt here. There's a bolt loose on my dash. I'm holding the windscreen and look, this bolt here is loose. It's well annoying. It like shakes. Really, really annoying. Anyone coming out that gap? No. It's a bit tight here because people park on the left side of the road, so then the cows are a bit poked out to the lines. So we've got to wait for a gap and then I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it, mate. Come on. Come on. And here we go. Made it. Made it. And look, this nice gentleman's moving over. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And we can just steady on blip through here. Blip through here. La da dee, la da do. Kitty.